So a whole lot of you guys, and I mean a whole lot of you guys, have been asking for updates on the house. And we are about 95 to 98% of the way completely done. So I figured today would be the perfect time to show you that. It's pretty much unreal in there. So let's go show you what we've done. First, look at what we noticed was hiding the whole time I was talking. Look at this little guy. All right, back to the video. Before we go in the house, one thing we knew when we bought the house that was gonna be super expensive we had to get done was the HVAC system. And that's because, well, it's two systems. And as you can see, they are absolutely massive systems. I'm six foot five, it's up to my shoulder. They are absolutely huge. Those along with the water heater, all replaced. They were all at the end of their life cycle. They've all been replaced. They're all brand new and they're all working super, super good. Now we can go inside. All the doors, all the shutters, all painted. The nice, beautiful, vibrant red. I come on inside, let's go. Welcome back inside of this beautiful place here. So it's been quite a while. You remember this room right to the right? We originally said we wanted to get a poker table and an arcade machine, but we did things a little differently. We, no, I'm kidding. We bought a poker table and there is the Pac-Man arcade machine. We haven't got the chairs yet for the poker table yet, but they're coming very soon. And as you can see, decor around here, look up there, game rooms over there. You got the arcade style stuff on this side, the light up Pac-Man and ghosts. And this Miss Pac-Man machine that has all the best games on it. Miss Pac-Man, Galaga, Dig Dug, which by the way, I just wanna put it out there. <laughs> I'm holding the high score on all three in the household because everyone else sucks, I'm great. No, just kidding, but you guys gotta get on this level. But this room right here has been the addiction room lately. We didn't think this would be that fun, but since we put this arcade machine in here, everybody has been competing for the top spots. It's like it's 1985 and we're in an arcade again, <laughs> but it's so much fun. With the new AC system, we now have these cool touchscreen thermometers that can actually sync to an app on your phone. So if you're home far away and it's really hot out, just, you know, lower that thing on the way home so it's nice and cool when you get here. The bathroom, did we change anything in this bathroom? No. Nope. No, this bathroom's still exactly the same. But, the bathroom. you know, it's got the new toilet, but I said that in another video. Other than that, that bathroom's exactly the same. What I was just to put in the bathroom, a sign that says bathroom in case you're in like a very intense dump and you forget where you're at, you look up, bathroom, that's right. That's the only reason I could think of to do it. And in the kitchen, you're also gonna notice we didn't really change too much. It's just now that, you know, it's actually being used. We have stuff on the little spinner thing. We have trash. We brought over the stuff from the other house. Scale, obviously. Dirty dishes. How doesn't everyone love dirty dishes? Air, what do you call it? Air fryer. I was to say air cooker, but air fryer. The oven's still the same. Super nice. Cabinets. This still the same. You might recognize these guys from the last unit. We're gonna end up keeping these and putting them somewhere. I haven't 100% decided yet, but since they're brand new, we decided we might as well keep them. I don't remember if we showed that we got the new fridge in or not, but this is the new fridge. We got it replaced. It's one of those nice ones. For some reason, we both agree, it's so much better when you have like double doors to the fridge and then the freezer is like down below like that. It just makes it so much more convenient. You have more freezer space and it's just, I don't know, it just looks better, right? On the back deck here, pretty much exactly the same. We really didn't do anything out here, but we do have our grill from the other house we brought around here that is out here. But other than that, I think it's exactly the same. Out here on the screen porch, actually a lot has changed. So the light was out, we got that bulb change, I guess that's not that big of a deal, but it looks nice out here, okay? The screen had a bunch of holes in it, got all the screen replaced everywhere that was broken. The door was like stupidly stuck, it wouldn't open right. So first off, we installed this here. So if we let the cats out here, they can't paw it open. And also this now opens and closes like a normal door, and it locks. And you might recognize, well, these two rocking chairs here for the unit that I said we were gonna keep. And they were all there, all the screws, all the bolts, everything we needed, and they're freaking awesome. Sitting in a rocking chair on the porch, watching the woods, can't beat that. Dee Dee. You do the tour. Where are you going? You do the tour. You do it. <laughs> Stop running away. You do the tour. <laughs> She's like, ah. <laughs> And we here, this area, I don't know what you'd call this, this is like living room number two area, but you can see we have this motivational type quotes all over the wall. If you're friends with me on Facebook and my real profile, which I know a lot of you guys are, somehow you found me, I don't know how, but you did it. You'll see, I post this kind of stuff all the time. I just like being surrounded with these positive, motivational, keep your head straight, goal oriented things. The world's negative, there's a lot of negativity everywhere. You just gotta flush it out and just remember these things, work hard. It's just good to see it and it's good to keep your mind straight and in the right place. These ones aren't quite motivational, but they are factual, so I guess that counts. One of my favorite parts of the house, not counting the basement, because I'm still having trouble wrapping my head around the basement being real and being ours, is over here. This little YouTube section here, the 100,000 YouTube subscriber play button, a little 3D printed thing, the letter that YouTube sends you when you reach 100,000. 
This is a clock that's actually connected to our Wi-Fi, so it has live updates every 10 seconds. So if we were to hit 513,000, it would go boink, go up. I said 513, that's 413,000. <laughs> but 513 would be cool too. We got the golden camera, and again, some cool quotes in the back, which are just true. You know, dreams don't work unless you do, and that's what it is. And above us, Goku and Chi Chi from Dragon Ball, and we're kind of Dragon Ball fans if you didn't know, and if you didn't know, just, just wait till you see that basement. We're still debating whether or not we should put a table right here because the chandelier's here. Obviously, it's supposed to be here, and by the way, you like our home improvement job? I took a keychain ring and put it up there and put that thing up super high because chandeliers are not designed for people that are six foot five. I don't know how many times I hit my head on it. But we want a table here, but what we don't want to do is block the door to the porch or block the door to the deck because then it just gets annoying. So I'm still debating on whether we should get a little table or not. Let us know down in the comments. The sunroom, well, we kind of turned into the fun competition, get mad at each other room. I just walked right into the wall, you didn't see that. Look what we did in here. We got a freaking ping pong table, full size ping pong table, and right next to it, the full size air hockey table, which I am just absolutely horrible at. I just cannot win a game of air hockey, but ping pong, I'm all right, right? We, we pretty much go back and forth on ping pong. Yeah. Air hockey, I think I've lost every single time we've played, but this room we've been spending a lot of time in too, just because these games are just fun, and why not have it in your house? You play when you go out, so aren't they still as fun at home? Funny for decorations in here, you see the tiger head that she wanted to keep. I don't remember when we found that, like a year and a half ago in a random storage unit, I think. The safe here is the actual safe we found in the unit that had like 2,800 or so dollars in it in cash. First time we ended up finding that much cash, and that's why we kept the safe. And I got a bunch of movie prop money to put in there just to, you know, remember the moment. You're kind of looking for that moment the whole time you buy storage units. So to finally have it, I needed a memento. And for some reason, the old coin and the light bulb, I found the light bulb, for some reason, don't ask me why. I thought it was cool and I didn't want to get rid of it. So I'm like, I'm just gonna put it there. I'm gonna keep it Why? I don't know, but it's there now. In this other room to the other side of the front door, when you come in, you'll see we made it into our office slash, I guess, live auction room is what I call it. By the way, remember the unit we got with all the gaming stuff? This is the guy's chair, that's the guy's desk, that laptop came out of another unit, that scale came out of another unit. It's kind of strange when you sit back and think about how many things around the house came from other people's stuff. And you wanna know what's funny that's in here right now? This chair in this box, Amazon sent to us when they were supposed to send us our poker table. We got home, it said it was delivered, and we got home, it was like, sweet. Opened the box up and they sent us a green chair. Like, how do you confuse a poker table in a green chair? But they found a way to do it. We come this way, we got tables. These pictures are gonna go in the living room eventually, just haven't got around to hanging them up yet. We got the tables that the live auction stuff go to. We have a tote full of cat over there. Just a you know, casual tote of cat, chilling over there. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is some of the Poshmark stuff over here that my mom works with. And then we have our giant wall of shipping supplies over here. So this is just a workroom basically. Now let's go into the archway and into the living room, which we have pretty much finished. Like I say, 90% done with the living room. So as you can see, we have three couches, all angled in like a, I guess a rectangle minus the other end so everyone can see the couch or see the TV. But at the same time, you don't all have to smush together. I hate that. I hate the living rooms when you go over and they have one couch and everyone's like, <laughs> hi, sitting next to each other like that. Each couch has its own table. One thing we haven't done yet, the TV's still on the stand. The plan is to get that mounted and cover up those wires that they have sticking out of the wall. So that's gonna look much nicer. The carpet right in the middle of the floor is stuck down so it isn't going anywhere. And as you can see, as far as the walls go, they're pretty empty in here because we have the pictures that are planning to go on there. We have like a couple things on that wall, but overall, this one's not too decorated yet, but I love this living room still, I love the color. All right, now let's go on up the stairs and continue. First room on the first floor, as you remember, this was the cat's room. So as you can see in here, their cat tower right here, four toilets or, you know, sandboxes, litter boxes, whatever you want to call them. Keep the window open and we keep this sign here because scientifically, it is true. My name's Brandon, welcome to MTV Cribs. Now this is a room. <laughs> Thanks. Kind of stuff in it. So if you see this stuff, that's stuff. Now like, now check that out. That's a thing, all right. And then you have this thing and this little stuff on top of there. Now you see these? This stuff that goes into that stuff. And then that is a thing. I appreciate you guys being here. Don't mind the Easter lily, I know the last flower's dying, but the plant looks healthy, so don't worry about that. All right, guys, I think that's it. Thanks for being here. Missy, you gonna give us a tour in here? Oh look, she just said to follow her. Oh, okay, come on in, she says. Let Missy do the tour for you. All right, what do we got here? We have a dresser, nice, nice. Where else? She's Missy, like, come she, on. She's like, she needs assistance, help. Missy D, come on. 
Do the whole tour, thank you. She's in rank. Did you cuss at me like that? <laughs> All we asked you was to show around a little bit. Oh, oh she's tearing up the bed. <laughs> Missy, that's not what we asked for. The laundry room now has a washer and a dryer, nice new ones, and there's actually you know detergent clothes in here. I just don't know what else to really say about a laundry room other than the fact it's a laundry room and it's up here on the second floor, which I like. Now let's come on into probably the messiest room in the house, our room, because well, we only come in here to sleep and there's just been no, no motivation to actually clean this up yet. It's gonna be absolutely last on our list once everything else is done, then we'll focus on our actual bedroom. But you can at least see, we got totes of crap in here. Those um, shoe stands over there, we literally kept the same plastic dresser things because I don't really want wood ones. They're just annoying. They're heavy and annoying, so it's like, why do it? You know what I mean? Then over here, we have more of the same plastic things over there that hold our TV that we barely even watch. I think we've turned it on twice since we've lived here, but it's there in case we want to watch it. Our beautiful big king size bed right here. My little dresser, which got a phone charger, a water bottle, and a nine millimeter. What else do you need at your bedside, right? That's pretty much everything. Over here, I said I wanna get things that go on the wall that hold all the guns up for display, but again, haven't went out and bought those yet, so I just have a bunch of freaking weapons laying across my floor right now because, well, I haven't had the time to go anywhere yet because we've been working on everywhere else. And as far as our bedroom goes, that's just about it. Two more things I wanna point out, actually. This. I have on the wall, it's a disc plate of the YouTube 1 million subscriber play button that I just want to look at and see every morning, first thing when I get up, I want it to see me, or I want to see it. And you know what? I want it to see me too. And this sign is for the outside of my door because, well, I literally only come here to sleep and this is 100% factual. Let's go into our master bathroom here, even though I don't think there's really much we've changed in here either, besides getting this um, hot tub cleaned out, we got the sinks and stuff cleaned out. Got the shower cleaned out and got a mat put in there. And we just have all our personal crap all over our sinks, really. Deodorant, vitamins, toothbrush, um, mouthwash, brushes, all that. You wanna know how bad it is with us paying attention to our own room? Since we moved in here, this light in the bathroom has been blown. Still haven't changed the bulb. The toilet seat had a crack in it when we moved in. We bought the toilet seat like three weeks ago. Still haven't put it in there yet, but you know, we'll get around to it eventually. Welcome to my closet. I don't really know what to say about it here. I don't have a whole lot besides this. This is maybe like a whole box of gold and silver. I'm not gonna say, maybe it is, maybe it's not. All my shoes, how many pairs do I have? One, two, four. three, four. How many do you got? And a pair of slides. I don't know. We'll I see. guess we'll see in a minute. <laughs> I just like messing with you. In all my clothes, can you see what color I like to wear the most? Look at my shirt. And you can't even really see it on camera. It's just like a black glob. That's all it is. It's all black. Down here, you have a little tiny bit of variety. <laughs> There's a couple grays in there. Like one, two grays, a blue. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just like wearing the color black. I don't know why. Now into my closet, which is the bigger of the two because, you know, I got more shoes and stuff than he does. So over here, I have um, a bunch of Land Before Time collection that I probably collected within the two months before we left the old house. And then I have some clothes that I honestly can't fit yet, which are on those top two shelves. Um, so I'm waiting. And then I have some slides all the way at the bottom. And then the stack of shoe boxes you see are all empty boxes. All the shoes are around the corner. Back here, sweatshirts, sweatpants, pants, big jackets. Over here, we have some wedding stuff. Some of the stuff that you guys even sent for wedding gifts. The wedding box is actually up over on the right side. And then I have my wedding dress still. And then my shoes. How many do I have? Like 20? two 21 pairs or so a lot of shoes a lot no, of shoes but kidding. i still like to collect them i'll get a new pair for christmas for a birthday and any other special occasion that i want to get them if you made it this far into the video go down in the comments leave us a comment saying this is unbelievable i really do like to see who makes it this far let's keep going before we go to the third and final floor we're in this area right here this thingy i forgot what it's called is going to family eventually this exercise bike my plan was to put it in the gym but well not gonna fit so I don't know what I'm doing with that. I might go at the next $1 yard sale or I might sell it on Facebook Marketplace. I don't know. I don't know what to do with this right here. He stays. What do I do right, with Dester? that? You he's stay? Like, he's like, please don't bother he's... me right now. He's like, please, <laughs> please don't bother me. All right, let's go up to the third and final level and bother my mother. So my room is like mostly empty still. I'm still getting it all set up. You can see, um, but I do have my dress. There's my cute little pink one over there or whatever, which is super duper. But 
The most important thing is check out the size of my closet. If you guys know and you've been watching for a while, you know I'm a lover of Uggs and they're all up there along the top shelf, along with all my other shoes. millions of shoes on. <laughs> <laughs> and plenty of room for all of my clothes because, well, yeah, I am that girl, so. But anyway, this is, that's my favorite part about this room and just the size and it's so private. I mean, I'm up here on the third level by myself and I have my own little bathroom and well, thanks guys. By the way, if you bought something in our live auction, these packages are going out tomorrow. It's or today technically when you're watching this. Mother Day's kind of threw us off track a little bit, but now let's show you the most unrealistic part of this house and that is the basement. Forgot to show you guys this room behind the kitchen which I call the cat's kitchen because well this is where they get all their food at. Their wet foods right here, their dry food and water and everything's over there. So this room also belongs to the cats. They have two rooms, they're kind of spoiled. The garage, we haven't done anything too but there's just a bunch of storage unit stuff out there. Some boxes out there obviously we've been unboxing a lot of new stuff for the house so it's kind of looking a little junky right now but we're gonna get it all cleaned up and stuff soon. So the door here gives you a little indication of what to expect. Adult Goku, Kid Goku, you know it's gonna be Dragon Ball themed but when you open the door and start coming down here it's not what you expect. It's wild. Let's do it. Have you met my friend Gohan here? I'm just kidding. This is our only life-size Dragon Ball figure we have right now. We might have already ordered two more, but that's beyond the point. But this basement is insane. On this wall here, you have all of the figures that are older from like, say, early 2000s, late 90s era. The kind of the stuff I grew up playing with and seeing. So this one's really nostalgic. On this wall, you have all the keychain collections that have been released so far over the past few years, so we've completed all of them already. If you keep going up here, we have more, I guess, skater type stuff, some skateboard decks, some wallets, some hats, and some cool things like that. But when you get into the main entrance, this is where it gets crazy. Welcome to my own little bit of heaven in here, the Dragon Ball. Kingdom. Now obviously the color combination, if you don't know the show, that's the main color combo, the orange and blue, so that's why we decided to do the entire basement that way. But let me give you a quick rundown of how everything is set up. Over here, we have all of the statue type figures. We have, I think, a few hundred of these. I think it's around 300 or so of those. Comic-Con exclusives, really expensive ones, really cheap ones, everything in between around there. We have the giant figures up here. What's behind me? Oh yeah. Look at this bookcases over here. This is our miscellaneous section, which is stuff that we wanted to display, but it didn't quite fit in any particular category. So we just kind of put it all together and made some bookshelves here and they look beautiful. You wanna know what's funny? All these bags here on the ground. Last time we went to Virginia Beach to buy a storage unit, we checked all those toy stores out there. We ended up with, well, all this stuff that we still haven't even put up yet, but it's beautiful. Come this way, you can see the Dragon Ball Funko Pop array here. This is every single Dragon Ball Funko Pop in existence except for one, the Planet Arlia Vegeta, which if you look it up, going price is around 3,000 to 4,000. There's so many fakes that I'm tired, just terrified to buy it online. So I'm kind of waiting until I can see it in person and judge it to be real for myself. Because if I spend 3K and it ends up being fake, this guy's gonna be mad. And if you go over here, this is just more, I guess, higher and nicer looking stuff, I guess. This guy here is a Funko Pop that's not even released. This was a display model that only stores got, but we convinced one of the stores to sell it to us because that's how we roll. So tons of cool stuff on this side too. Over here we have what's called the SH Figure Arts. It's a brand of action figures that are more on the high side because they're like very poseable in all these different positions and they're really, a lot of people use them to create like dioramas and things like that, but I'm the type of person that likes to leave everything in box that comes in a box. As long as you can see it, while it's inside the box, my theory is it should stay inside the box, but that's just me. Collectors in the comments, fight me. And if you go over here, again, this is more so random stuff that I want to display, but I just didn't know how to display, so we kind of just put it all over that shelf and left it like that. If you look above me, we have all the little plushy stuffed animals, whatever you want to call them, Dragon Ball characters that we bought over the years. Those, a lot of them are up there. Some of them are on the other shelf you saw earlier, but if you come this way, First, you'll get into the very old stuff that was before I was born. Most of this stuff's like late 80s, early 90s. I was born 94, but it's still Dragon Ball. I still gotta collect it. And if you look below that, you get into the most expensive things. These are the resin statues. Most of these are very, very limited, like 100 figures. Some of them like two or 300, but some of them are 100 or less. So these are pretty expensive and you gotta order them from overseas, but 
Look how great they are. The quality of statues is just incredible. I just love walking down here. Every time I walk down here, I walk up here just to look at these things. Even though I know what they look like, just looking at them just makes me happy. Up here we have fig pens. I don't know if you've seen them. They're in stores like Walmart, Target, all over the place. And every, anywhere you go in a mall, there's fig pens. This is all the Dragon Ball ones I've seen. Now the difference with these are, I've never ordered them online. We always just buy the ones we see in person. So we're not complete yet, but definitely plan on completing all the fig pin collections too. And on the walls is just more random figure sets we found in random places that I didn't have, but you know, there's not a lot of them. So they're back here as well. If you come to this wall, this is what I call the modern section. This is all stuff that's been made in the last five six years that they're still in the process of making so that's why we gave it this back wall so it still has more space to go there more space to go up here I actually have one coming from amazon tomorrow or today the day you're seeing this so they're still producing this line so we needed to leave extra room to keep filling it up and right here we kept the table because we're going to put four chairs around it it's got a bunch of dragon ball games look trivia pursuit old school dragon ball yahtzee dragon ball clue Dragon Ball Monopoly. This is Dragon Ball Z Monopoly and Dragon Ball Super Monopoly. So a bunch of board games that are Dragon Ball themed too. We do it all, everything Dragon Ball. This wall over here, as you can tell, well, it has nothing on it because, well, we went from our old living room. We had so much stuff, we couldn't even put it all out. It was in closets and now we moved it down here. There's so much open space that we have completely open walls, all this open space in the middle. So tons of room to continue to expand and go for the world record, which we are going for, by the way. Over here, you see the weight bench and squat rack and things like that because, well, that's the only last part of the gym that we haven't put together yet. So let's go show you the gym. It looks pretty cool so far, but keep in mind, it's missing the weight still. Welcome to the gym or what we like to call UFC heaven. So you guys have been watching this for a while. You know we, our whole family, in fact, loves the UFC. We've traveled across the country, north, south, east, west, all over the place. We drove 24 hours to go to one in Texas, 13 hours to go to Canada, 13 to go in Florida. We freaking love UFC events. So that's why we have so much collectible stuff in here. Every single one of those full-size posters in here actually came from the card we went to and is signed by every single fighter on the card. We have a lot of crazy signatures of big name fighters in here. If you're into the UFC, like the gloves over here, Amanda Nunes, Uriah Faber, Shot Evans. I mean, a lot of the legends of the sport. Look, Cain Velasquez, Chris Weidman, even Khabib Nurmagomedov over there. A lot of big, big, big names out here. One of these posters, I forgot which event it was, is signed by the current champion that just won. I don't care what they say about the weight, Charles Oliveira, before he was champion. So that's cool. We have a bunch of UFC stuff in here. Obviously, the treadmill. The elliptical, I like the elliptical, but it's been beating me up lately. But you know what? It's good, it feels good to do it again. So definitely getting back in the habit of this. And behind you is where the weight bench is gonna end up going. Once we put that together, that's the next thing. One quick funny story because I think it's absolutely hilarious. So one time we were at a UFC card in Virginia Beach, Chris Weidman right here, he was the champion at the time and he was doing like a promotion thing, meet and greet with Monster Energy at a 7-Eleven. They had this thing in there to you know promote the promotion. The people that worked there were gone, it was just him and it was coming to an end and I jokingly asked him, do you think we could have this? And he was like, I don't know, that doesn't belong to us, it belongs to the 7-Eleven. And I was like, well, they're not here, right? And he's like, eh, I guess so. So he signed it to the Frasers, our last name, and signed it and gave it to us. Still to this day, don't know if this is technically stolen property or not, but he signed it to us and gave it to us and we walked out of there with the Chris Weidman standee. Probably a one-on-one -on -one thing right now. Now to one of the coolest rooms in the house, the movie theater, come on in. This place, as we said, we were gonna decorate gaming theme, but we kind of did a little bit more mixed than that. This is, I guess, mostly gaming, 95% gaming stuff, but in general, there's a few things that aren't. So we got the Xbox Series X here, two controllers. We have double recliner sofas. I guess they have two reclining seats in each one with drink holders. Some signs that, well, we haven't even put up on the wall yet because, you know, we're behind. And then the projector. I think the screen's like 120 inches or something like that. The projector up there. And who remembers the Spartan helmet? If you remember the Spartan helmet, I know you're an OG person in this channel because it used to be in the background of all our auctions. Then in this over here, we just have all the DVDs, all every single episode, movie of Dragon Ball that ever existed, all our video games, old school games, even older school games. And overall, this room is just cool and chill. Let's go into the final room of the basement, which is the computer room. We didn't do too much to this room. Here's the green that everybody hates, but I love. But I use it, like I said before, because we put these lights in the wall, take pictures, and I have to crop the background out. Same thing a green screen is used for. Why not have one built in, right? Then we got both of our computers set up over there, the giant logo on the wall, 
Over here just looks absolutely freaking awesome. And in this corner over here, we have the shelf that has all the camera equipment, the different um, photography, thumbnail cameras, recording cameras, microphone, lights, drone, all that stuff is in there. And that closet just kind of has some random stuff that I don't know what to do with right now. We absolutely love this house and cannot wait to spend so many years to come here. Thank you everyone that watches our videos for making it possible. And until next time, peace out.